The Nintendo Switch, a fancy $300 gaming console that just now, after six months, is consistently showing up on store shelves. Probably for the holidays, probably for the screaming kids on Christmas, but after all that time, is this console worth your money now? I love the Switch. In theory, it's it's a great console, which is great, but this is an abusive relationship. There's still quite a bit of issues. Six months in, the game library is still a little weak. What I find really disturbing with this console is it kind of reminds me of the Wii U at this point. It has a whole bunch of first party games, of course, a couple smaller third party games, and plenty, plenty, plenty of sports games. Sports! I know, I know, a little surprising, but Nintendo has always had sports games. Hopefully down the line they're trying to get more AAA titles, because right now it's just a Nintendo and indie machine. Is playing games on the Switch fun? Yeah, of course it is. The first party games are great, some of the indie titles are amazing, but the problem here is it's still lacking a lot of diversity that other consoles have. And with those additional games, it could really be an amazing console. But as is, like I said, it's still a bit lacking. Using the Switch on a plane was a mixed bag. Using it in your hands with the Joy-Cons connected to the Switch was perfectly fine. I had absolutely no issues with that. But using the kickstand with disconnected Joy-Con controllers was a disaster. The kickstand could not get to an angle that was necessary to face up towards you. This is especially an issue when you're tall and you're looking at it at like a 120 degree angle. I felt like an old man. My back hurt. Then I got motion sickness. And then I puked. Okay, I didn't puke, but I felt sick. This has annoyed me since day one, but the joysticks on the Joy-Con controllers just feel cheap and it doesn't feel as smooth as say a PS4 or Xbox One controller. Something I thought that would be widely used on the Switch but slowly implemented were media streaming apps. Netflix and chill, Hulu, YouTube, stuff like that. Tablets are a large competitor in the mobile gaming space because they also give you the ability to be somewhat productive and stream your media. And before someone says, but Jimmy, the Nintendo Switch is a gaming console. It's not a tablet. Yes, but previous Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo consoles have had these type of apps. Even the 3DS had that to an extent. But honestly, that may not even be Nintendo's fault, but rather the companies behind those apps. Release them, come on. Then there's the issue of storage space. In this day and age, you buy a brand new console, you're getting probably 500 gigabytes of storage, and the Switch is completely different. The Switch gives you 32 gigs of storage. Now I know they didn't use mechanical hard drives like the Xbox One and PS4, but a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, these things are so expensive to purchase. You try to buy, say, 500 gigs just like the Xbox One and PS4, that will set you back hundreds of dollars. Of course, Nintendo games don't take up as much space, but a lot of games will take up the entire space of that SD card. So unless you want an expensive money hole digital collection, I suggest you get physical copies. So my general thought on the Nintendo Switch is that it's still a little raw. The console itself is well made and well thought out, but it just needs more AAA titles, it needs more media streaming capabilities, and it still needs a couple more features. So right now, Nintendo Switch is the most versatile console, but it is the least versatile when it comes to software. Is it a good buy? As of right now, I don't think it's a right fit for everyone. Typically in the first year of any console's lifespan, they don't really have that many sales or discounts or bundles. So far, that's the case with the Switch. Maybe after a year, once it starts gaining more titles, can this become really, really amazing. After all, being able to take your games on the go is a really great thing to have. Unless you're trying to get this as a holiday gift, for someone you really care about who really, really wants it, I'd skip it. But who knows? My opinion may be different from yours. You may find that the library of games is good enough and that's the only thing you care about and not really all the little stuff, the apps. Then by all means, buy it. But as of right now, I just don't think it's worth it for most people. Anyway guys, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up comment, and well, 
don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.